give them this experience, and, and that's what drives us and motivates us. Yeah, I think I talked to Taylor Twelman about it as well. Um, I talked to Sebastian about it as well, and I've been was real candid with him. I've been in this league a long time, and I've seen many playmakers. I've seen many Argentinian attacking players that have exceptional quality. I mean, he, he can set the bar as high as he wants. He has that ability. He really does. His work ethic, his charisma, his his quality is um, is is impeccable. And you know, again, players gravitate towards him. He he gravitates towards them as well. And and again, he plays in all areas of the field, build up, out wide. And the thing I always say is he always arrives around goal. He has such a hunger to, to move the attack. And, um, you know, we, we're, we're certainly pleased to have him. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, what the history was, but um, we're pleased to have him. We, once we were able to go after him, he was a guy that, you know, we, we were certainly glad to get across the line. And he, he's, he's helped change and certainly guide this franchise in a, in a new direction. A little different than college. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, again, I think Kipps is, is, is growing into this space. As you mentioned, he was not long ago playing against college kids, completely different dynamic. Um, and, and now he's, he's got two MLS uh, regular season games under his belt, some, some time in, in the preseason getting games, and he earned the right to play. And he's, he's a good player. He's going to you know, only improve from this point forward. And, and again, I think it was, uh, it, it's a great introduction to what this league has to offer. We have talent, uh, talented strikers, talented players in all parts of the field, and I thought he handled himself well today. And um, you know, it's a performance for him to, to build off of. Um, well, I think we're playing at home. Our expectation is, is to win. I mentioned before ending the year that we did and turning this place into a, an environment. Well, it's already an environment and an atmosphere like any, unlike any other in the league, but making it a place that's really difficult for other teams to come into, for us to maximize points at home. And, um, you know, these guys take that to heart. And it's not hard when you have those fans in this community um, doing what they do week in and week out here at the stadium, but, but also in, in – you know, in the community with us, for us. Um, so we're extremely pleased by the results. It's, it's, it's two home games, two wins. Um, for me, again, it's, 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 it's a learning process. Last year we learned a lot. We learned a lot about our group. I learned a lot about myself, um, you know, and, and we've made some additions on the field and we've made some changes tactically on the field. And I think that's also where we're growing and, and that'll need to continue. We, we, again, we're not a finished product and nor is this team or, the, or these players. We've got to keep getting better. Um, and, and improving. It's a performance to build on, and we're going to continue to work through it. It gets much, much harder uh, as we move through the season. We go to Portland next, and um, a very good opponent, very good opponent. Um, well, I think, you know, I think there's, a, there's an intention and there's an intensity to the way that, that we're playing. There's, there's purposeful ideas that, that we've talked about. Again, we talked about game management. We talked about how we want to enter a game, the type of pressure that we want to put on the opponent, how we're going to put it on the opponent, and then maintaining that. And, and goals change games. I'm sure you guys heard me say that last year. And, and I want these guys to want and thirst and need to score goals. And, you know, we, we've started our games here in, in, at Q2 the last handful of times in a really good way. It took us a little while to get the first one today. Um, but previously, it was in the first 10 minutes we were scoring some goals. So that gives us confidence. That gives us certainly um, intensity. And, and I think that's what showed in these first two games. Going on the road is different. It's, it's going to provide a different challenge with traveling. And, and, and obviously, going to Portland is, is, is another one of the strong venues in our league. But it's, um, it's somewhere where you go and enjoy to play. And you know you're in for a dogfight. They're a good team, well coached, and our guys will be ready for it. Thank you. Yeah, again, I, th I think for the guys that have come to our team 
later in preseason, we, we want to be cognizant of that, that fact. It's not just getting on the field and getting settled. It's getting settled with your personal life, getting your housing, your car, your banking, and all that set up. And he's gotten some valuable minutes in preseason. And, and Danny, again, the guys on the field today earned the right to play. They've, they've been part of preseason the whole way. They have performed at a high, high level. And, um, you know, Danny's been performing well. Johan Valencia is a good player. He's going to play significant minutes. We brought these guys here to play. There's lots of games. There's going to be plenty of opportunity. And each game for me, it's what's best for the team. And it's nice to have competition. It's nice to have more quality than, than, than previously. And um, you know, these guys are hungry. And they compete every, every day during the week to have the opportunity to play on the weekend. And that's, you know, th that's where our decisions will be based off of. Yeah, again, I think Finley's. Um, He's, he's an experienced player. He and Maxi and Felipe, experienced guys in the league that uh, understand what, what the game is about, what's needed in the game, the, certainly the, the intensity and, and the responsibility of, of, of either starting or coming in as a sub. So he comes in and gives energy. He understands our system. We've, we've adjusted our system since the time we worked together. But I think he's taking on the nuance as well. And defensively, he's, he's extremely resilient and responsible. And, and that's also part of um, you know, part of why we like him here. And, and again, I was delighted to see him get a goal, top class goal, and uh, we're going to need more of that. Um, if, if you want to explain no, it's it's you know I think it's I think it's terrible. I think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. You know that that should never happen at any sporting event ever. You go to to enjoy um, any sporting event, any any event, and it's you know it's it's beyond unfortunate. That's not the word that it deserves. It's disgusting, and um, it's it's terrible for the people, and that's you know it should never happen. Um, again, I look at last year as a learning experience. I'm, I'm sure if we look back at when we played against teams in low block, we created chances. We had higher expected goal. We weren't able to do that, whether it was quality that's the chances that are arriving to which player, if, if we had the quality to do it or not. Um, we worked tirelessly on it, knowing that we're going to play at Q2, knowing that we're going to play in the heat and play against teams that want to be low. I mean, it was real clear what Miami's intentions were. That, that, will, that will never be the case for us. Um, but we, we train it, we work on it, and we're very, very in, you know, intentional about what we're looking to do and, and how we can create situations that ask big questions of the opponent in wide areas, in the box, and, and also try to maintain some balance and some, you know, some, some, certainly some, we call it active defending, to, to maintain the pressure when the ball comes loose. So the execution of it today was, was good. Again, it will only get tougher as the season goes. Yeah, awesome. How, you know, your thoughts on that, just how many four have grown to in the last 10 years? Yeah, it's incredible. It's an incredible accomplishment for the city of Charlotte and, and the people of Charlotte. It was I was watching it, uh, very entertaining game. And uh, again, you're coming into the space as a new team, but the amount of support and the you know, the interest for the game today as, a, as compared to, I came in in 98, the league's been in since 96. Um, there, there's, there's so much you know, to be grateful for with this league and, and the people that have brought this, um, you know, the league to this platform that it is now. It's it's no longer just a sport in another country. It's 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 made so much traction and has so much interest here, and we're fortunate to be doing this. and, and I'm I'm excited to be part of it, and it's only going to continue to grow. It really is. I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment that they had, and and again, I think there's you know there's more teams, there's more uh, more cities that 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 are like that. No, I think, again, we have a way that we want to come in and work. We have a process that we, again, prepare throughout the week, how we review our own our own games and training sessions. And um, the opponent changes quickly. The dynamic of the group can change quickly. Uh, results can change quickly. That, that's just a reality, and we're not going to get carried away. 2-0, and we played at home. I, I, I started the saying, we, two games at home, and you know, to make this place a fortress where we're, we're maximizing points. Um, will put us in a position to to achieve some of the goals that we've set out as a, as a, as a team, and uh, we're going to continue to push that. Any other questions? Thank you, coach. Appreciate thank you, thank you, Thanks, thank you. Uh, we'll be back with uh, goalkeeper Brad Suber.
in person. This is weird. Weird. Hooey. Is this good enough? Am I nice and close? I'm going to throw your phone, Chris. Yeah, you saw last year when we brought him in, uh, he brought a different speed and a different talent level that we needed last year. And I think just being with this group for like all of the last part of last year and through this preseason, it's really given the guys a better understanding of, okay, when he goes, we need to be with him. When he moves, we need to fill his space. And you see a lot of guys like working off of him and kind of uh, switching positions like interchangeably, but everyone knows their role. And just knowing that Seb is going to be working his butt off for 90 minutes kind of makes everyone else need to do the same. Yeah, I mean, we addressed it at the end of last year. Uh, I mean, I think we scored 33, 30-something 30 goals last year, and we've had 10 in the first two matches. So it was something that we talked about, that we weren't getting enough numbers in the box, we weren't creating enough high-quality chances. Um, and I think most of last year we were still kind of developing the culture and developing the style of play, and now we get to expand on that. Like, we know what we need to do, and now we get to layer things in. And, uh, focusing on runners in the box, focusing on service from different areas and varying the way we attack uh, was a big thing and it's paid off. Is that, is that being picked up by the mics? I think Kip's personality is amazing. Uh, he kind of just comes in and he doesn't think about that too much. Like you guys from the outside can say, oh, wow, that's Gonzalo Higuain. He's a high profile player. And I think Kip just goes into the game and he's like, okay, that's the striker. This is his strengths. This is what he's going to do in this game. And this is how I need to stop it. I don't think he's thinking too much. Afterward, he may be like, okay, I want that guy's jersey because that's freaking cool. But um, Kip's been able to like come in, put his head down, put the work in. And he's adapted to our style and he brings a bit of bite. Uh, he's pretty aggressive and we're just kind of getting him to know when he needs to go, when he needs to stay. And he's taken it on extremely well and he's been doing really well for us. We talked about it last year where um, we needed to vary our attacks more. We needed to be a little bit more pragmatic when we played. Um, I think Josh echoed that sentiment early this week where it kind of starts from the back with me and my choices of when we need to play out, when we need to play long. Um, and I think we've developed something where we can play out of the back when we can. I think first half you, sh you saw that we were playing out of the back a lot to draw Miami out. We get a couple goals, and then all of a sudden they start moving up the field. So that's when we need to switch our mentality to know, okay, they're bringing a little bit more pressure. They're bringing more numbers forward. So now we need to break their numbers a little bit differently. So that's when you start layering in long balls to chest, long ball to Musa, long ball in behind, um, from the fullbacks going diagonal, winning the second balls. So there's all these little nuances that we've been able to add into our game that uh, we just didn't do last year, whether it was just lack of time, lack of personnel. Um, but we've spent a lot of time, and now we have different ways, and now it's up to the players to go out and execute it on, on match day.
yeah, it takes time. I mean, it takes time to learn the system. It takes time to learn your the chemistry with the players. And you got to think of each match as a 90-minute chess match. Like, you go into the game, and not everything is going to go according to plan from the get-go. You have to be able to break down the opponent for 90 minutes. So the way we play out of the back is drawing them out. What is that going to do to them uh, cumulatively throughout that 90 minutes? It's going to make their forwards run more. It's going to make their midfielders more expansive. Um, and then if we do snag a goal, all of a sudden they come forward, and then we can ping them in behind. So it's one of those things where our players this year are much better at recognizing what the game needs. Um, and throughout the match, you start to see like different phases of the game and different ways that we play, but it's all by design. We're not just hitting long balls to hit long balls, whatever. We're always trying to find someone in space or someone checking down and that type of stuff. So, uh, I mean, it's definitely been talked about a lot and uh, the players have responded extremely well. Yeah, I was actually talking to Julio a little bit. Um, the goal we conceded today is very similar to goals that we conceded last year, where maybe we were playing out of the back just a little bit too much. And in that moment, we needed to release the pressure a little bit. But last year, we didn't have three on the board already. We were 0-0, zero, zero, and we were sticking to our guns, and we were trying to battle out a result. So the, the ability for us to score goals early, the ability for us to continue to score um, and get forward, gives us a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't say like leeway, but it gives us a little bit of breathing room where one mistake isn't going to kill us. And then when we make that mistake and give up the goal, the, the reaction to go and get another and another, that's what, what, like, what we need. Like we can't just give up a goal and be like, oh crap, like we gave up a goal, now what? Um, when you give up a goal, it's like, okay, immediately, what's our next thought? Go get another and another and another. So uh, just that mentality switch and the chemistry of the guys has been uh, amazing. I mean, it's frustrating when you're not getting results, when you're not scoring goals, when you lose players to injury. Um, you get frustrated because you see the system working, but you're not getting the result that you should be getting. I mean, think about how many missed opportunities we had last year to get wins or even get a tie. Um, we gave up too much. And I think that just the way we started, being away from home and losing so many guys, like we got into this mental – uh, fragility. Um, I think the offseason did wonders for us. Uh, we were able to come in, reset, uh, talk to each other, have more time together, get the chemistry going. And I think overall, uh, it just gave us time to like say, hey, this is what we want out of this season. Like we're not learning anymore. This isn't, this isn't a club that's learning a system or learning a culture or anything. This is an established club. We know the style of play that we want to do, and now the results have to be there. Um, and just that mentality switch and the guys that we brought in, like, bought into that right away, um, which has been fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we're going we're gonna to hit different phases of the year. I mean, when we come here in the summer, the heat is going to play a, a different role. We're not going to be able to run as much. The grass isn't going to move the ball as much. So every game that we have is going to uh, bring a different set of challenges. Um, but the good thing is we've been to most everywhere, so we kind of know what we're getting into already. Um, a lot of guys last year were just coming to the West or coming into the league, so we weren't quite sure when we went away from home what we were to expect. Um, I think this year everyone has a better understanding of what the environment's going to be like, what the, uh, the pitch is going to be like when we play, um, and just the overall mentality of going away from home and getting points. Uh, we didn't tie a lot last year, which is something that we even talked about and discussed. 
Like when you go on the road, it's very difficult to get points in MLS. If you look at uh, historically what the average points teams get on the road, it's about one on the road. So like when you go away, it's not that you're going to sit back and do whatever, but you also have to understand that most teams have a home field advantage. So you have to weather that storm and find ways to get points to rack up throughout the, throughout the season. Yeah, uh, I mean, I use what very minimal Spanish I have to try and convey messages. But uh, with Seb, he understands uh, English really well. So uh, for him, it's really good because he understands what I'm saying in English and then can relay if it needs to go to someone that doesn't understand English as well. Um, but I think you saw in preseason, we like jumped around the captain's armband, gave guys a chance to come into their leadership role and I think that's really given us a better uh, understanding on the field where it doesn't matter who wears the captain's armband, everyone is going to be a leader. Everyone brings something different on the field. Um, Seb is just, through his work effort, through his skill on the ball, it just drives guys to be better. And he doesn't need to be a vocal leader. People can just look at him and be like, okay, he's doing this. This is what I need to be. Uh, whereas Ring... Like, he's a vocal leader. He can fire guys up. He can yell at them when it needs to be. Um, but in that moment, I think in second half, yeah, it, it was a corner kick, and I think Maxi Arruti was down on the far side of the field. Uh, we were just talking because on the corner kick, we were just rearranging bodies because they were throwing extra numbers into the box. We had lost Maxi, who was supposed to be somewhere. So we were just talking about where he needed to be, what we needed to look for, if the ball circulated out. And then, uh, luckily, they went short on that one. So, and Diego did a really good job on that. So, any other questions for Brad? All good. Thank you, Brad. Thanks. Thanks.